morning. I'm Amy Rush Imber, Editor-in-Chief of Floor Covering Weekly, and we're here this morning to celebrate the Green Step 2020 Virtual Awards. Thank you for entering. Thank you for being with us today, and congratulations. Green Step has been honoring, recognizing, and celebrating the great efforts the floor covering industry has been making to be sustainably smart, and for a dozen years now. And I do want to recognize that we do look to the panel of judges, which are the association heads across the industry, to keep this um, elevated award. Um, it's a high level of honor, and their deep product knowledge really helps um, keep the process very clean. Today, we honor HMTX. Welcome to Harlan Stone, President and CEO of HMTX, Rochelle Rotman. And Simon Chow, General Manager for HMTX's Shanghai office. Welcome. We also have from FCW, Morgan Bowman, Associate Editor and our Sustainability Guru, Casey Perinelli, Associate Editor, and Mallory Cruz McGrath, Managing Editor. Congratulations on your first Pinnacle Award. Um, as I said earlier, I wish I could be giving this to you in person. Um, this recognizes the leading efforts that HMTX has made through four generations of Stone family leadership to keep sustainability at the center of the company's value mission. HMTX's integrated approach throughout the business, product ingredients, manufacturing processes, workplaces, global outreach, all reflect a dedication to the environment, all aspects of human well being, social justice, and equity. And I do want to say that Pinnacle is really about cutting new paths and leading the industry. And it's something that you all have done very, very well. So congratulations. Rochelle? Thank you so much. Uh, we're so happy to be here today. And I want to let everyone know that winning this award from, from Floor Covering Weekly is a true cause for celebration. So thank you so much to Floor Covering Weekly, the judges and everyone involved for putting on this fantastic program. We are so honored. And this award is so valuable to us because it's so difficult to win. In fact, winning a Pinnacle Award from Floor Covering Weekly is like winning a Grammy Award for sustainability. <laughs> <laughs> That's what makes it so respected. We treasure this moment and our relationship with Floor Covering Weekly. And so in friendship and with utmost loyalty to the cause, I hereby accept this award on behalf of HMTX Industries, a progressive company with a truly progressive CEO, and that would be Harlan Stone. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, thank you. Um, Harlan, sustainability has really been a cornerstone of HMTX for some time now, and you clearly put muscle behind it. Why has this been so important? Well, we have always thought about sustainability in our company's history, but the subject matter rose, and we tried to rise with it. And we realized that uh, you have to do more than talk about it. You have to be, do more than comply with it. You need to take a leadership position in this to change things. Because if, if you just go along the path that, that is, is already in front of you, nothing much happens. And we want to be an, an enzyme of change. Um, that I will be sincere by saying that really started when I was able to hire Rochelle to become our chief sustainability officer. So first of all, we elevated the position to a C-level position in our company. And that was made a statement in and of itself. And then we built a team that didn't only include sustainability around that subject, which included innovation, included transparency, included quality. So we look at sustainability as a center can build everything that's good and new about your product to deliver to the marketplace. And this has been a, a fantastic ver journey for us. So at, we've done this while the LVT market has grown. We've done this while multi-layer flooring uh, evolved into rigid core flooring. And we've done this 
while we've seen tremendous acceptance of our product. We do not think that these are incidental uh, events. These are uh, congruent events. And as you build a product that makes sense for people in their homes, in their places of business, with the sustainability and the other values, you've given, delivered an amazing value proposition. How has the story changed um, and gained importance during the pandemic? Well, I, I think our view is that sustainability, the definition of sustainability is changing. Everything's changing during this, uh, this disruption. And if you look at change as an opportunity, you look at change as a chance uh, disruption creates an opportunity for change. That's how we look at it. So I, my view of sustainability is that sustainability is a much broader topic than it was before the pandemic. First of all, right now, human, human life is being more greatly challenged than it's been challenged in my entire lifetime. So we have to think, yes, we're accidentally improving the quality of the planet by driving our cars to work less often. So 6 billion miles of driving reduced last month was the statistic I heard when I drove home yesterday. Six, I, I'm still commuting to work. So 6 billion miles of, 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 drive, of commuting has been reduced. But the human element is now part of sustainability. So we want to kind of lift sustainability to the sustainability of the planet, the sustainability of the people, the sustainability of their jobs. So sustainability means being able to make a living. Sustainability of safety, of the sustainability that your home is the center of your life and that you need to be comfortable. You need to feel safe and you need to have hope. So I would say, I think sustainability is now the sustainable hope that the world can become better, that we can find health and happiness again in this new world and we are really driving in that direction. So beautifully said, really. Um, what challenges do you see for the floor covering industry um, ahead uh, um, as, a, as it being the sustainable leader and how will you address them? So if we really address sustainability in the larger terms that I've just described, the goal is to stop thinking about the price of the product and its specification and start thinking about the impact of having that floor in a person's home or in their place of work. What is the impact that you're going to have on that person? First of all, people want to be able to clean where they live. They want to feel comfortable and safe. Therefore, cleanability has become a gigantic issue. We're spending a huge amount of effort, time and money on understanding the dynamics of cleanability. So this is important to people's well-being, mental well-being, as well as physical well-being. Therefore, we have a chance to really talk to people about what it is to own our product. Mm -hmm. Finally, and maybe even bigger, I believe this is a chance to make the floor more fun, make it more joyful. Mm -hmm. Install a floor in your home or place of work because it makes you happy, because it makes you feel good, because you've, Im you've improved the the outlook your kids are stuck at home in school they're going to be sitting on the floor probably you know maybe 80 percent of the time so that should be a happy moment so we think that flooring can actually be part of the cure for the difficulty of being stuck in your current home-based life so this is a great opportunity for flooring to be more important so I always said our biggest competitor is not another flooring company. Our biggest competitor is not another flooring category. Our biggest pet competitor was people going on vacation for not spending money on their home. Mm -hmm. That is no longer a competitor. So our only competitor is what are they going to improve their house with? First thing they did is outdoors. Now we're talking about let's make that indoor space super, super joyful, super safe, clean, and feel good about it. So that's our challenge. Let's make this a feel-good moment. In a perfect world, what does sustainability and environmental accountability look like? In a perfect world, it means uh, caring. Mm -hmm. I think the perfect world sustainability is about caring. It is about compassion. It is about making sure people's lives are safe and good. It's about making sure everybody has a decent place to live. It make, it's talking about kind of some of the values that we um, 
cross with Habitat for Humanity. As you may know, we're, we're a, a major uh, participant with Habitat for Humanity, both uh, in our local communities, uh, in, our, in the national, and even in the international sphere. So you talk about people having a decent, safe place to live so that their kids can get an education. You talk about a safe place to live so people feel safe from violence, avoiding eviction. This is where this should go. And we, as the flooring industry, as a fundamental shelter product, should be part of that story. And that's the story that addresses social injustice, that addresses a human well-being, and that addresses uh, having good, decent jobs for everybody in, in America. Thank you, Harlan. And congratulations, Harlan, Rochelle, Simon, HMTX at large, for your pinnacle win this year. Mallory? Thanks. Congratulations. Now, HMTX is also our um, 2020 People Honoree. And congratulations to Simon Ja. Excellent. Um, <laughs> yeah, and I just wanted to mention, by the way, that with Simon's support and his knowledge and capabilities, this award would not have been possible for us. And we have a special treat, obviously, with Simon here all the way from Shanghai. So uh, we're excited to hear from him and his role in winning this award. Excellent. Um, well, People was one of the two new categories created in 2018 for our Green Step program and really was a direct response to the mission of so many floor covering companies to put focus on its associates, its communities, um, and a commitment to overall health and wellness. And almost from the beginning, we see companies looking to honor the people behind the programs that are having such a big impact on today's sustainable efforts. Um, and perfect example is, is Simon, um, who has played such a pivotal role in achieving and communicating um, HMTX's sustainability and transparency initiatives which include de declare labels across the entire range of Aspecta flooring products, um, which is now is extended to so many of HMTX's brands. Um, and Simon was also pivotal in achieving the first just social justice label for manufacturing facilities in China, as well as throughout all of Asia. Um, to achieve them, the factories needed to demonstrate transparency in human resource policies, report upon you know, worker safety, pay scale, equity, as well as many other metrics, which is quite a huge undertaking. Um, so congratulations to Simon and to HMTX for being awarded the 2020 Green Step People Honoree Award. Excellent. Hey. Do you wanna launch into questions? Oh, sure. Um, Simon, what were, what were some key driving forces for you? Um, my family is the key driving force. Uh, I was born in a small village in middle China in 1970. Uh, I had a very hard life uh, in my childhood. Uh, we had no electricity and barely enough food to eat at that time. Uh, when China opened to the outside world in the late 1970s, uh, our economy started to grow. And now I'm living in Shanghai uh, with my wife and my daughter. Uh, we are living in a much better life. So we don't need to worry about uh, electricity or enough food. Uh, mm -hmm. But we are now concerned about, you know, the safety of the food, Absolutely. The air and the water quality. I want to give my daughter a better life. So. Uh, I'm so happy that uh, uh, we are putting uh, transparency and sustainability at core business strategy at uh, HMTX. Uh, moreover, I'm the bridge between our USA sustainability team and our uh, Chinese manufacturing factories partners. Um, I travel to our factories routinely and oversee uh, sustainability programs there, uh, as well as at the Shanghai office where I work. Cool. Thank you for sharing. Um, now, will you talk to us a little bit about um, achieving the first just labels? Uh, what changes 
um, needed to be made. Uh, in terms of the changes that have uh, occurred as a result of uh, earning just, uh, we can see the employees are now aware of all the just uh, program categories and they are proud that their factory uh, has been recognized. Mm -hmm. uh, additionally, uh, there were many changes uh, to the human resource policies mm -hmm. uh, to make things good for the employees, mm -hmm. uh, such as a greater encouragement of uh, continuous education and better healthcare scheme. Uh, we have also had a lot of interest uh, from the business uh, partners. So this all helped to spread out the word about just. Excellent. And you know, how are the steps that you're taking helping to change the perception of China and sustainable practices? And you know, what can the rest of the world learn from what you've done? Um, with the support from uh, you know, my manager, uh, Mr. Shaw Rotman, and the company, uh, I was able to uh, attend a few sustainability events, uh, both in the US and also in China. Uh, I had the opportunity to speak and present you know, all the sustainability works uh, that we are doing at our factories. Uh, at such uh, conferences. Uh, for example, is, uh, we, I attended the 2017 uh, San Francisco Sustainable Topia, uh, 2018 Living Future Earn Conference, and also uh, 2019 Atlanta Green Build. Um, I may have been the first uh, Chinese person uh, that, you know, uh, present at such a U.S. sustainability conferences um, to speaking of the social justice. Um, from, from, you know, based on the data we collected uh, at Greenpeace during our session, uh, this really opened up people's eyes uh, on Chinese manufacturing. Um, also, you know, uh, HMTX uh, support uh, international film living future uh, events in China in 2019. Uh, there are three events um, held in 2019 in China, one in Shanghai, one in Hong Kong, and one in Beijing. Uh, at this event, uh, I shared, you know, our experience uh, with uh, social justice. Uh, with other sustainability leaders in China. Um, also, when, whenever we have uh, customers visit our Chinese factories, I will introduce the social just uh, label to them and they seem very interested. So uh, as for what can the rest of the world uh, learn from what I have done, uh, I would say that uh, you know, the Chinese people are not so different from the rest of the world. Mm -hmm. uh, we all want to protect the environment, uh, treat others fairly and uh, equally, also giving back to the community. Uh, most of Chinese factories are very open and willing to make changes for the good. Mm -hmm. uh, as long as, you know, uh, the standards and the requirements are communicated to them clearly. Also, of course, the cost is affordable. Yeah. Yeah, these are some of the thoughts from, from me. Yeah. Yes. Fantastic. Wow, thank you. Thank you, Simon, and thank you for all that you're doing. Yeah. You guys, um, this was a morning filled with passion, mm -hmm. giving. Um, you know, you really opened up, and um, we're just so proud and pleased to be honoring you today. Um, Harlan, you look great with that award. Um, <laughs> thank you all. Thank you all so much for spending the, the morning with us. Congratulations. Um, we really look forward to following what you do next. Thank you. Thank you, Amy. Thank you. <laughs> thank you.
Thank you. Okay. Thanks to all of you. We appreciate it.